Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody to the show. So, I want to talk about this moment where you get this great idea and you have these characters and you go through the process of developing the story and you write the plot and you write a script or you write the novel or what have you and then you're gonna put it out to you know competitions or maybe you're applying for a grant or you have to fill out some kind of application so that maybe somebody will give you money to make the thing and then you come across this question why are you the one to make this uh, I don't know about you but sometimes that is the hardest question that they could ask and I have to kind of step back and think about it because when I had the idea when I thought about the characters, when I was excited about the story, it had nothing to do with me. It had nothing to do with why I was qualified to write the story or to make the thing. I was just excited. I was excited about what it was, what it could be, the possibility of uh, presenting something fun or presenting something thought-provoking or what have you. I never think about that question when I'm in the process of creating a story. I never think about why I'm qualified. Maybe most people do. Maybe I'm just not going about the process right, which I'm willing to admit. Sometimes I do things a bit backwards, and, you know, I guess that's my process. I'd really like to change that if that's the case. I'd really like to do things properly. But so far, how I've been going about creating work has been fairly successful. So I just wonder if you guys feel the same way about this question. Because I don't know. I I just, I don't bring my identity into a basic need to tell a story. Now, if it was a personal story, I can understand that. Like, you know, let's let's qualify the um, question depending on the story or the characters like maybe what I wrote is something close to uh, a personal experience I had when I was a child okay maybe that's the reason why I should write this story or why I'm qualified to tell this story but for the most part having just a basic sense of empathy of curiosity of um, being astute to, uh, you know, culture. I think there is little reason to announce why you're qualified to tell a story. Now, it's not to say that if you are connected to the story that you won't have some kind of nuance that somebody on the outside would not see. But then on the flip side, I could say, if you are so close to the story that you don't see those nuances and you don't recognize how something is um, not different, but um, that they become so much a part of like what is common that you don't see it and that you're, you wouldn't be able to bring those things out of the story because they don't seem to be... that They aren't an interesting part of the story for you. As opposed to somebody who is on the outside who may look at the same story and say, well, hey, you know, wait a minute. Like, um, this is an interesting part of the story that I think other people would be interested in because most likely... The people who are going to watch or read um, the story 
are going to be as interested in it as the person who's making it, you know. So it's kind of a, um, you know, I go back and forth about the qualifications of a storyteller and where I fit into it, but also just with the stories I've been hearing nowadays about um, uh, representation and who is qualified to tell a story. And as much as I, I agree, like on both sides of it, if it, it, because I think that um, somebody who is within a certain culture would be able to bring out like the uh, nuances, would be able to to more closely uh, get those details right. And then there's another part of me that um, yeah, you know, l- looks at the fact that somebody on the outside could look into that culture and say, okay, well, here's what's, here's like, here's what's interesting about this, or, you know, maybe you might be able to approach um, the same thing with better nuance than somebody who was on the inside. But um, the reason why this whole thing came about was just because I was filling out applications and uh, for, you know, scripts that I'm submitting and, I would come across that question and I thought, well, I mean, the, I guess the thing that I'm really qualified about this story is the fact that I'm just very interested in the story I, I wrote, you know, I'm, I'm very interested in it. I'm, I, uh, think that it should be out in the world and, you know, I just, I, it was a, a very challenging um, question for me to address because I never think of my work in that context. I, I never, um, I never try to qualify myself for a story or disqualify myself from a story. I always feel like I can be, um, I can mold myself to whatever project is out there, and to uh, really. Um, find a way into a story. But then on the other hand, there have been scripts that I've read that I'm like, I don't, I don't actually get this. I don't know why. I, I, I don't have an in to this uh, story. And that's also a part of it as well. So if you guys have that same, if you've come across that same question, uh, I I just want to know if like I'm alone in this, like maybe I'm being so dismissive about it that uh, I should really like look within myself and, and, and really um, address that question every single time that I sit down to write something. But I guess if anything, the qualification for um, for whether or not I'm telling the story, like th- the fact that I'm submitting a application for a story shows that like I'm already like I have a vested interest in the story itself. Because if I didn't have a vested interest, I wouldn't go through the time to fill out an application uh, or to pay the submission fee you know it's just it seems like a wasted question because the fact that I'm doing the work shows that I'm qualified I guess you could say so anyway this conversation can go on forever because there are you know um, examples of like you know maybe like Ang Lee and directing Brokeback Mountain. And then there's other, uh, uh, you know, like, like m- most uh, recently, uh, Lulu Wang, um, you know, uh, criticizing Ron Howard for taking on uh, uh, a story um, that is, you know, like the a Chinese um, historical um, story. Uh, 
and that that kind of sparked this whole idea of like, well, what actually qualifies you to tell a story in the first place? You know, if you address it from being a human being, um, you know, at least at the basic level, and then there's the culture uh, of uh, of the story you're trying to tell, you know, and the nuances in that. Uh, so it's just it, it it's it's endless in the way that um, where it could be extremely successful uh to match like a director and a writer uh who is uh, who is of a certain culture to that to a story and it's been beneficial on the opposite end of the spectrum so anyway that's all i had for uh today Uh, i hope everybody's doing well and um you know wash your hands Wear your mask, all that stuff. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Also, if you haven't uh, done this already, um, I have a Twitter account for the podcast. It's at title underscore Tim. And uh, I also have a Facebook group. page as well and you can subscribe to that and i will put episodes up there and and any updates um so yeah uh, come on by say hi and uh you know yeah till the next one